What we're going to talk to you today about is about when you need to actually sharpen or grind or do something to a reel. When you're real, when you guys pull a reel in here and it's on a table or it's on a machine and you put a piece of paper in there and you actually try to set your reel to bed knife and you just keep pinching the paper, there's something that needs to be done to that reel. And the topic I want to kind of really get into today is going to be backlapping, but we're going to talk about when you should backlap and when you shouldn't and some of the stories that you're going to hear, some of the theories that are out there on backlapping. When we're looking at backlapping, we're looking at a reel that pinches a piece of paper. The reason why it pinches the paper and it doesn't cut it is because the reel or, and or the bed knife has become dull. When it becomes dull, instead of two square edges coming together and shearing that piece of paper or shearing that blade of grass, What's happening is these two round edges come together and the grass rolls in between them and it smashes it and it bruises it. When it bruises that blade of grass, it's going to leave it as bruised grass. It's going to pinch it and tear it. It's going to turn brown. And as turf managers, that's an unacceptable thing. If that grass turns yellow, people kind of get upset. It doesn't look pretty. The aesthetics looks bad. You want to deal with it. So there's several things that we can do as far as bringing that back up to where it will share a piece of paper or clip that piece of grass. And one of them is going to be to sharpen it, put it in a real grinder, sharpen that blade. The other one we're going to use is going to be backlapping. And there's really two theories out there. There's those that believe in backlapping, and there's those that don't. And you're going to fall in one of those two categories. And you cannot fall in between. There's really no in between. You're either going to go one course or the other. And the difference is going to be whether the type of grinder that you have available to you. If you are working at a course that has a grinder such as the Dual Express or possibly this Neary that we have out here that has very quick grinding capabilities where you can take a reel off of a machine and set it on there and in five minutes be taking it back off and sticking it back on the machine then you may not necessarily have to use backlapping. If you don't have that type of machine, you need to believe in backlapping. Because backlapping is one of the tools that you have to bring that reel back up to a square edge and allow me to cut like I want to. So the other thing that we're going to do in between when it's sharp and when I'm going to backlap or when I'm going to grind will be facing the bed knife. Facing the bed knife is when you actually take and you file the very front edge of this bed knife. And I call it facing it because this is the face of the bed knife. If you have a rounded edge right here and I take a file or a grinder, a die grinder or a special attachment, there's a lot of different things that you can use and I run it right across the face of this bed knife, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grind the front face off my end result is going to be one square edge right here. If I have one square edge, I can cut a piece of paper. And so it's a quick way. You bring that machine in, you put it on the lift, or you lay down on the floor, you stick a piece of paper in there, and you turn it in pinches. You take a file or a grinder, and you face that bed knife and make it a square edge. You should be able to cut paper. If you square that thing off and you still can't cut paper, that's because the reel itself is so bad that you need to go beyond that and come up with a, some other measure to bring that thing back square. That's where you go to backlapping or grinding. You're going to go one of those two paths. What that'll do is it'll bring the reel and the bed knife back to a square edge. 